it's a done deal. I'm the proud owner of a wetland. What's next? Your best bet is to plan your building or project outside the wetland. Wisconsin's already lost half of its original wetlands, and we really need to protect the ones that are left. If you design your project so it doesn't hurt wetlands, it's a win-win situation. The planning around the wetland areas comes at the very first stage. Well, early planning is extremely important because the last thing a developer or a regulator wants is a surprise. And those happen, <laughs> but you can avoid it at, at, in most cases by doing your, your homework and getting your background and all of your base maps and, and wetland inventories early on in the process. Well, here we have a complex of about 65 acres of wetland, which is essentially three quarters of a mile of lake frontage and uh, the, the interior areas uh, comprise the, the rest of that. And those areas have uh, not been conducive to home building, obviously, so we decided to create an outlot and include this wetland complex in that outlot. And it's sold very well, and the resale values have, have been very strong, so we've, we're very comfortable with what we've done. When we have these common areas adjacent to the home sites, it really enhances their value, and it really makes it a nice place to live and a great place to play. You too can be a steward of wetlands. If your land has been taken over by invasive plants like reed canary grass or purple loosestrife, you can improve your wetland so it attracts more wildlife and is healthier. In fact, the DNR's website has a guide for restoring wetlands and a list of agencies that can provide other help. That's good to hear. I see I got some options, some painless ways to do the right things. But what if I can't avoid wetlands? Then you need to contact your local DNR water management specialist. They'll keep you on solid ground or help you know whether you'll need to get a permit. We'd like to meet with you early in the project planning process to help you find ways to avoid wetlands and perhaps the need for a permit altogether. We'll set up a pre-application meeting where we can help guide you through this process. We'll explore ways to avoid and minimize your project's disturbance of the wetland and hopefully save you time and money. Remember, getting a permit is not guaranteed. However, the DNR staff will do their best to work with you and give you options. Most people get permits, but sometimes the DNR has to deny them. Maybe the wetlands on a property are found to be really valuable. Or maybe the owner hasn't explored all the alternatives to get a project done without harming wetlands. You see, you're asking to change the landscape forever. A wetland that may have been eons in the making and home to unique plants and animals can all be destroyed in one afternoon by a bulldozer. I get it, and I want to do the right thing. And you know what? That's just fine with me. I'm building my dream home, and now, I know how to do it in a way that gets me what I wanted in the first place.